just come here and we're gonna toss the ball so we are trying to get the toss inside the basket it's loose it's like in the middle the racket point to the side slightly up like so loose the key is when you're gonna do this if you want to roll your racket somebody is giving a high five oh you got it Hi everyone, my name is Milan Krnjetin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitman and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. Welcome back to another 10 Fitman video. Today we're gonna learn the serve from scratch. And we have Steffi with us and she's a complete beginner. So she will try to learn the serve. She will learn the serve for the very first time. So I'm very excited for that. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So obviously this is for all the people who are just starting to play tennis or for people who are playing but maybe are not that good in serving or they're just starting to learn to serve or even for some intermediate level players I believe this video will help because we're gonna cover some very basics for serving. You need to understand that serve is the most complex shot in tennis and therefore it takes the longest time to master it. So have the patience and also you need to put a lot of time and effort for building this skill. It's very complex, but I'm gonna try to break it down in some segments, so it's kind of easier for you to go step by step and to learn this shot. Okay, so the first important tip here, before we even start going into the technique, I wanna explain that the serve is like a throwing motion. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the racket, we're gonna leave the racket aside, and I'm gonna challenge Stephanie to do a couple of throwing tennis ball like a baseball I'm gonna just demonstrate so we're gonna just come here and not just uh, necessarily straight but more like upward so like you want to throw it with some arch nice that's good so you want to throw the ball on on the building so you want to kind of drop your elbow down and you want to throw it upwards right so into the sky nice so when you serve try to imagine you want to throw the racket Imagine like you want to throw the racket. In that way, we're gonna have correct motion. Now, the second thing, of course, we have to talk about the grip. And the grip is the hammer. Like you imagine, you wanna you wanna hold the hammer, right? If I point to the camera here, right? We're gonna have this index finger knuckle on the bevel number two here. So in that way, we have a correct grip. It's like on the edge of the racket, and then down, right? Okay. And then try to have that wrist relaxed loose right once we understand it's a throwing motion we have a correct grip right so we can get comfortable with that grip the third step we have to focus and we have to learn is the toss so we're gonna stand next to the baseline the toss should be something like this which means not very high not very low and just in front of our front foot we don't need to think so much about the racket at this moment. Let's just think about the toss. Just something here and you can practice. Yeah? Start from here, watch this. We're gonna toss the ball right. The goal is to hit it right in front. So let me see, you can stand here. You can stand here, front foot. And we can have this as a challenge. We can put the basket right in front. So we are trying to get the, the toss inside the basket or somewhere close. So first of all, Let's see how we hold the ball. Trying not to squeeze the ball with your fingertips, but more it's it's loose. It's like in the middle with the roots of your fingers. When you toss the ball, full arm, right? We don't use the wrist. And also extend your arm all the way. So extend your arm here. Oh, we got it. And this is very important. This step, you have to practice a lot. So because what she's doing now, she's actually demonstrating the the real thing and this is how people really struggle in the beginning you have to take time and practice this literally i would put the basket and like she she would spend now 15 20 minutes maybe even like a couple sessions you need to first master the toss and then you can proceed okay yeah, i didn't mention how high should the toss be let me see so we imagine that she will hit the serve at this height see right you have to be all the way straight so the toss should be a little bit higher than that so it's here, right? It's 
shouldn't be like super high or like lower than that. It has to be right there. Okay. Let me see how you hold. You see? Yes, you gotta keep the ball in place. So not, not open here, but it's in the place. Right? In the place and then nice throw. You're still using your finger fingertips, you're still doing this. No, look, just raise your arm and then just open your palm. So don't use your fingers or the wrist. Look, so it's here, straight up. So just open your palm. Longer arm up, longer arm up, extend up. Okay, so we have to practice this a lot. Okay, so the next thing, the number four, we're gonna introduce we're gonna introduce the half serve. <laughs> Steph is still practicing the toss. The half serve position, which is gonna be somewhere around here, right? So we're not gonna do today the full serve. Sorry guys, maybe you're expecting, oh we're gonna learn, we're gonna learn the serve. No, we're gonna start from half serve, so we need patience. So the half serve position, right? We're gonna have the racket here. Right? Elbow is here, up, racket is pointed to the side of the court and slightly up. And then we're going to practice still the toss while not moving the racket. So this is still the same part, the same step, number four, half serve and the toss at the same time. So now we practice two things, not anymore, only toss. We practice to get familiar with this position here, right? And not moving the racket. So this is the key, right? When we toss, the racket should stay here. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, good. And we need to turn a little bit more. This leg can be a little bit back. Yes, that's good. So relax, 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 relax. So, first thing is to really remember this, this position. Can you, can you remember? So, the racket point to the side, slightly up. Elbow is a bit behind and not too high, not too low. So, here. Very good. And then just practice the toss. Nice. Here, I'll give you. And then practicing that we don't move the racket, try to separate two arms. Right? You can try without crossing the ball. Just lift the arm up. Just lift the arm. Yes, this is good. And then of course you put together and you try to get the toss right in that front part. Bam. Wow, nice. That's it. Okay, so the next part, the number five, very important. Let's assume we mastered this position and also the toss. Now we're gonna go into the phase that's called racket drop, right? You're gonna try to keep your elbow still and you're gonna try to just rotate around your shoulder axis. And I'm gonna give you this uh, idea. Do you know the soldiers, when they're in the army, they like salute their commander, right? Here, so imagine this and you wanna kind of do the same here, right? We don't want to lift elbow, we wanna keep it still. Bam, show me how you're gonna do that. Yes, uh, saluting, right? That's good. It's not just wrist. You need to rotate the whole shoulder joint. So it's not just wrist, but it's the shoulder joint. And we try to go lower because later we'll have to lead with the elbow. We're going to talk about that later. We do the drop and also the timing of this. So when... The key is when we're going to do this, right? So I'll give you the exact point in time. When we toss the ball, we don't move yet, we don't move yet. And then when the ball starts coming down, then we're gonna go into the drop. So at this step, we're gonna practice this. When the ball starts coming down, you can do the drop, right? Bam. So not this. I really want to separate this as a step because it's very important to understand the timing, right? And the form, which is kind of like a salute, right? We understand the form. And now we just need to put that together with the timing. Assuming that the toss is correct. Toss and then, okay? You can toss the ball and then in the right moment, watch this, you can do this, this, and then you can kind of imagine you want to throw the racket, but you don't need to hit the ball. Nice. And that's it. Practice the form of the racket drop and the timing. And then you're almost there. We're ready for the last step. Final step, number six is the actual hitting the ball, right? I really want to kind of come back to the throwing motion. We assume we do this correctly. The timing is right here 
and now you just think you want to throw your racket but you want to keep the same orientation of the racket you want to go with the edge and you want to think you want to give a high five with the racket here and then we're going to drop and then go up slowly we go up straight and we go high five, like somebody is giving a high five and later we're going to continue this way to the left side first time she's actually trying this we didn't do any practice before and then wow good so this will be fun now trying to actually hit the surf but don't try to serve until you think the pass is correct good you want to go upwards give high five and kind of keep the ball up this kind of thing Whoa, almost. Okay. Then we go, stay, right down, and then we pull up. Now, here. Very common mistake is to open here, but we want to keep it here, locked. Straight up. And now, very relaxed in the wrist, and we're going to go, boom, here. This is where we hit the ball, and then the racket naturally, and then relax. Nice. Whoa. Boom. So, again, have the patience this is the first time that's already amazing that she's learning you know the stance the correct racket position there for the half serve and also the correct racket drop she already has it it's a huge improvement whoa we got it over the net okay so that was the process and i'm gonna quickly do the quick recap the first one was it's the throwing motion right the number one was it's the throwing motion Number two, we talked about the grip, right? It's the hammer grip, correct grip here, very important. Number three was the toss, the placement of the toss right in front, right here. Number four was the concept of the half serve here, right? And then how we can connect the toss with that, right? How we connect the toss and we don't move the racket first. Number five was the racket drop, which is like a saluting motion, right? and the elbow position here and also the timing of that drop so it's tossing first and then going to the drop right last but not the least was going up to hit the ball like a throwing motion again leading with the elbow edge and then giving a high five at the end right trying to hit that ball up all together toss smash that like button share with your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't so far write down some comments below if you have any suggestions or ideas and uh, that's it you can also check all the other platforms links below in the description and that's it go out there practice your serves have the patience and i'm sure step by step slowly you're gonna get there as long as you keep practicing this couple of steps we cover today. I'll see you soon in our next video. Don't toss the ball, just do the full motion and keep the left arm up longer and do the full serve motion. And then, yes, and then up, okay? So try that. Toss, wow, nice. Toss the ball up. Wow, nice. Toss, good. Oh, longer, nice, 